Okay, so already it is June, which is absolutely crazy. I did start recording this video, but then I was in such a rush for my holiday because we booked a holiday last minute to Lanzarote, which was amazing, but I didn't have time to finish recording this, so I'm re-recording it, which is great, which I love to do. Not really. Um, so already it is June, and guess what turned up? This is June's birch box. It is absolutely amazing. I actually love, it smells like a pencil case. Do you remember like going to school and picking out like a new pencil case, new colors, new pens, new pencils. And like, I used to love smelling the um, kind of the pencil cases. And this is what it, and that's what this smells like. I, it just reminds me of going back to school I'm just like picking out a new pencil case, but super, super cute. So um, I think there was a lime, it was yellow and pink, or it was green and pink, like a limey um, green, but I went with the yellow. I thought it looked much cuter, but you could not choose and they would give you whatever, but I went with this one. My hair is such a mess. I'm super, super tired. Even though there is no time difference, I am still super tired because it's a four hour flight and I'm like oh. and I had to unpack today which was not fun but let's get into this video and I will show you guys kind of what's in my birch box so one of the products is um this oh dropped it <laughs> is um merch and Maya it's a brow liner this is in hashtag zero to one um which is awesome like they've matched my color so well which I'm amazed by um I can't wait to try this but I do have a eyebrow pencil that I absolutely love I think it's from Maybelline and I think it's called Saturn I'm terrible at remembering names I can remember events like if someone said oh do you remember this thing I can tell you everything about it but names and places I'm like the worst at remembering so this is really cute really good size Ooh, almost dropped it again <laughs> Um, but I really like this one. I can't wait to try it out. But again, I am very addicted to the one I've got at the moment because it works so well and looks so like I'm using it right now, my normal one. And it just, I really like the effect it does on my eyebrows and it takes two seconds to do, um, which is awesome. So um, there's a little script in there, like little booklet they give you in Birchbox. And it just says, uneven brows have met their nemesis with this oh so precise pencil. I think that's just like a really cute quote. <laughs> I don't know why, I just really like it. And also this product is cruelty free formula, um, which I really like. That's kind of one reason why I shop with the Body Shop. And um, if you haven't seen on Twitter and pretty much all over Facebook as well about um, the Body Shop trying to get people to sign their thing to stop people um, use, using animals to test out their beauty products which I signed because I really am backing that and that's something I kind of believe in so apart from all that blabbering I'm doing um yeah I can't wait to try it but again I am questioning if I it will change me to go to this product instead of my normal product because to get off that product will be super hard because I've used it I think four years now and I absolutely love it and it's like the perfect like it does the perfect effects on your eyebrows um so another product is called scrub love this is a coffee scrub um, i've actually never used a coffee scrub i really go to kind of um the body shop scrubs i absolutely love them my favorite is the mango one and the raspberry one so it'd be interesting to use this i'm gonna open it and smell because I actually don't drink coffee, but I love the smell of coffee. It is so weird, like I hate the taste. It feels like it's just too strong for me. Oh, it kind of have like really like mild smell of coffee, but I'm smelling oranges. Again, I don't know if that's my hay fever. Like, I had the worst hay fever on holiday. We were walking, and I forgot to take um, one of my tablets for my hay fever, and my eyes just went boof, and I couldn't see. And, like, I was holding Adam's arm, like, just don't leave me, because I can't see it. We had to walk all the way back to the hotel 
so that I could take hay fever tablets and just die for a second because of the reaction I have to hay fever. The, annoy the most annoying thing about hay fever, if you've got it, I never used to have it. Like a couple of years ago, I never had hay fever. And then one year it just popped up on me and I was like, have I got like something wrong with my eyes? And I went to the doctor, he's like, you have hay fever. I was like, I can't just get hay fever, but apparently you can, which is the worst because it's just like getting worse every year. And like, if I go abroad, it is the worst like thing because I'm just my eyes react very differently to like here like it quite mild here in the UK but like when I go to other countries oh my god it's like on another level like I have to take Puritan like sometimes twice a day so it doesn't react which is super bad um, but yeah anyway back to this product because we're just getting distracted about my holiday and whatever so this one is for normal to dry skin which I have so yeah, it smells a bit like oranges so I can't wait to try it the packaging is super super cute I love this kind of white dotted and the pink it looks really really cute and it's like perfect size to bring on holiday or like to chest out which I can't wait to try and see what it's like and it's 100% natural which is awesome so another product in this month's birch box is Arrow Enhance. This is in pink and oh hello kitty cat. She's been a bit funny since I've got back. She's been really mean. Like I saw her in the garden when I got home and like I went to go get her and normally she'll come in and like give me cuddles and she just literally ignored me and then <laughs> went on top of the conservatory roof so I couldn't get her which was really mean, weren't you? You're super mean. She didn't want to say hello. And then when I did get her, she was happy to see me, but she was being a bit of a stubborn bitch because I left her. So let's get back to this product, even though I get distracted by my cat a lot. Um, so basically this is to like kind of brighten tired eyes. It is waterproof. It'll be interesting to use because I've actually never used a product like this. I kind of don't really like in the summer months I don't really wear eyeliner just because of my hay fever it just like if it just triggers some days it's worse than others and like it will just trigger and my eyes will just water my nose will go I just look a mess I'm having to put like a cloth on my face just to calm it down um so yeah so sometimes in like summer I don't really wear um eyeliner so it'll be interesting to see what it is and again this is um it's vegan and cruelty free which is awesome so i can't wait to kind of try it out and see what it's like but yeah it's, it's meant to um kind of brighten tired eyes so i've never really used a product like this so it'll be interesting to try out so this other product is called cow shed it's um and it's a moisturizing hand cream which is like a cool oh Oh, I don't know what it smells like. It's like a bit of a herby smell. I don't know. The smell just keeps changing. I can't work it out. It does say it has grapefruit in, but I'm not smelling grapefruit. I'm smelling more herbs. That's what I'm smelling. So this is basically you kind of, if your hands need a boost, like my hands get really dry sometimes and I hate the feel when my hands get dry, I just don't like touching things. And I'm like, oh, and especially with work, dealing with boxes all day and just paperwork and everything else, I just, it'll be nice to have a cream to kind of use because I don't actually use hand cream. I don't think I've ever used hand cream properly. Like now and then I put hand cream on, like in winter, but never in summer. Hi, cat. She's going out the window. <laughs> um, so it'd be interesting to use, but it's a moisturizing hand cream and basically it's you massage it into your hands and your cuticles and it should give your hands like that boost of moisturizer that they need so it'd be interesting to use i can't work out the smell it doesn't smell like grapefruit oh it's going to wind me up i just you know when it smells like a product that you know but like you can't work out what it smells like no i haven't got a clue so the final product is from Corey's. It is a milk protein three-in-one cleanser. So it cleanses, it tones, and it removes makeup, 
which is pretty good for a product that does three things. I really love products that are multi-purpose because it is kind of annoying when you're like washing your face and your face wash doesn't really get the makeup off and that's the worst, especially like waterproof mascara that I kind of use in summer because my face and my hay fever just make everything run. So I have to use waterproof because otherwise it will just run and I just have like it down my face which is never great um but yeah so um it'd be interesting to try it out um i did spill it all over me like just two seconds ago and me personally i think it has like a cottony fresh smell it's not very like strong smelling which is quite good because i do not like because i have sensitive skin products with a lot of scent in them really do damage your skin but they do say this product is suitable for um sensitive skin so basically it says just rub it onto your face and then use a cotton pad to kind of remove the excess and kind of it will help remove your makeup so it'd be interesting to try it out because the product I use at the moment I have to use two so one to move my like my, my makeup and then I use a cleanser and then I use a toner so it would be interesting to kind of swap all three for this product it'd be interesting to see what it's like so any of these products let me know what you think of them and if you think they smell in a certain way or I'm just going crazy. Maybe I am. I don't know. <laughs> um, well, thanks for watching today, guys. If you like that video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel below to see some other great content. Um, if you guys have these products, what did you guys think of these products? Um, my favourite, I think, will be... I don't know. It's I do like the bag, but I do like new scrubs. So it'd be nice to try out the scrub, but all of these products I'm really excited to use. So what what's your favourite products in this video, guys? And message me below of what they are. Um, and guys, just have a lovely day.